you're getting my point right over here right so these concepts will be used in the page object model all right out here uh, how page object model actually works right let me talk about that fine I'll make a new Java project I, I'll just move away from the project which I have made okay I just don't want to go into this right now okay I'll make a new Java project known as page object model basics okay so these concepts of inheritance and encapsulation will be used out there okay right now uh, the thing is the thing is uh, suppose in this source folder I'll make a new package known as pages right so as I told you page object model is actually quite uh, handy where you have got uh, multiple pages with the same kind of designs right but out here let me take a very simple example with you okay of a website known as say zoho.com Okay, it's a CRM okay uh, CRM means it's basically a sales CRM right you can manage your sales through this website right now out here suppose you have to simply go on to this and you have to uh, log in and you have to sign in on this page okay right so in page object model what we do is that we have got a java file corresponding to every page okay just a minute right so out here what we do is that we create a new class known as launch page okay which is the freshly opened Mozilla Firefox browser on your PC okay after that you go to Zoho page where you are on the home page of the website okay so you create the object the class known as home page out here okay All right so hold on fine now after that if you try to sign in you reach this login page okay so you will make a new class known as a login page okay then after that you reach the landing page after you sign in so this will be the landing page so you'll make one page class per page okay and suppose you have your test cases in another package known as test cases okay right oh, oh the package name should always be in the lower case in Java okay suppose I have a simple test case known as a login test right and this I'll use the test ng code public void do login fine so what we do is that we make objects we make objects of the classes the first page which is to be opened is the launch page so you'll make the object of the launch page okay All right import this now launch page has to has to actually take you to the home page okay so we'll have a function known as public void go to home page okay in this we'll have the selenium code which will take you to the home page all right so over here in the test case we'll call the function launch page dot 
uh, hold on okay i made this in landing page sorry you have to make it in the launch page okay so in this you will write launch page dot go to home page all right this function will have the selenium code which will take you to the home page and this function will return you the object of the home page class okay right so you will create the object of home page inside this and return home page okay right so you will get the object of home page like this we'll call this function this function will return you the object reference of home page in the test case okay then on the home page you have to click on the login link okay so you'll have the function go to login page okay so in the home page class we'll create the function go to login page which will have the selenium code which will click on the login link okay so you will create the object of login page and return login page object okay so this function go to login page will actually return you the object of login page all right fine so out here in the test case you will have login page like this okay on the login page you have to log in to the website so we'll write login page dot do login okay so you'll have the function do login present inside the login page in which we will have the selenium code to login to the site any questions All right and this will log in and probably return the object of launch page whatever it is okay so the login page will log you in and return you landing page object okay right it will return you the object of landing page okay so this do login function will return you landing page object okay so you have got pages you create the objects of those pages and you navigate in between but this was a very simple explanation practically we'll have lot of issues the first issue is that if i am writing over here web driver driver equals to new firefox driver i'm right i'm launching my firefox driver then this driver same driver 
has to be shared across all the page classes to make the interactions okay right are you getting this out here when you are navigating to the website this driver instance will have to be shared with all the page classes so that all the page classes work on the same browser <clears throat> anyone having any questions right so the first thing I'll, I'll I'll tell you how to resolve that. I'll tell you. I'm just telling you the problems. Okay, the driver has to be shared. Okay. Now there are many many other issues as well. Let let me tell you though. Suppose you have the do login function. The do login function logs you in and returns you the object of landing page. but what if the login is a failure in that case you'll have to return back the object of the login page itself because you'll stay on the login page so how can one function return two different things you're getting my point landing i am saying that i am returning landing page but if it is not possible to log in it will return back the object of login page itself so how can one function return objects of two types so this is all again becomes a problem right so this login test okay over here will i'll write over here multiple results of an action suppose there is a drop down in those in that drop down you have got five values and by selecting each of the values you are navigated to a different page so how do you manage that kind of situation right apart from this i have to manage validation and reporting in this but how do i validate stuff suppose there is a title of the web page okay or something has failed in between how do i report it how do i generate reports how do i validate stuff okay now for validation some of the things are common for all the page classes for example on home page i make a function public void validate element presence in this maybe you can send the xpath expression of the element and this function will tell you corresponding to that xpath the element is present on the web page or not but will i make this kind of a function in every page class landing page home page launch page because i obviously every page i have to validate some things or a simple function like a public void validate title of the page will i make in every page class will i make validate title function that becomes a question okay yeah we will use an written so over here i'm just creating the problem first i'm telling you the problem okay so you can have common functions all right fine so these are few of the problems which this page object model it actually tries to pose right what we do is that we to solve these things most of the stuff we use the page factory design pattern now this is a inbuilt design pattern 
made by the selenium guys themselves which helps us to actually easily implement page object model and to get rid, rid of especially the first problem the instance of the driver has to be shared across all the page classes so the solution comes from the page factory design pattern now do you guys remember what a constructor is i had told you do you guys remember right constructor yeah constructor helps to initialize the object the name of the constructor is same as the name of the class in home page i can make a constructor like public home page whenever i will create the object of home page this constructor will be called okay right so in page factory design pattern what we do is that we pass the driver instance inside the constructor of every class when the object of the page is created okay i'll tell you i'll tell you about depth I, i'll tell you in depth about page factory okay we'll stop here all right you just watch this video be very clear this is not page object model this is a skeleton of page object model tomorrow i'll start building this in the framework this was just a basic which i explained you to give you an idea rather than starting with the project you don't build the page object model like this but this is the skeleton the structure is like something like this okay we use the page factory design pattern fine